Good morning. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. Today is going to be, oh, no light, a good day because Jason gets to ride with us. very excited. Uh, not sure if Joy mentioned this already, but um, I'm sure she said that I'm going to be riding with her today outside. Um, I've had good news with a good, good recovery with my broken clavicle and saw the doctor on Monday and he said it's, it's almost fully healed and uh, he said it's okay for me to ride again. So um, yesterday I just did about a two hour ride uh, by myself or near nearby our house but today I'm going to do a longer ride with Joy um, and really excited to, to get back out there. By the way I have a new bike the uh, the Canyon Ultimate basically the same the same bike as Joy's just different color really um, just getting that all getting things set up on that now and then I gotta go get changed and ready to go. first rest stop here on our ride at uh, Squants Pond Park as as we normally do when we head this direction and uh, so far so good um, I think it's like close to 12 miles into the ride 11 and a half or something um, yeah everything's feeling pretty good how it's, are the, how's the climbing um, no issues so far there was one we haven't had any big big climbs yet but there's there's one steep little hill that we uh, that we hit along the way, and I had no issue with that. Um, so I think I'll be fine for this ride. I have the uh, or Joy ordered me a 1134 cassette yesterday, so I'm I'm gonna put that on eventually because I don't think the uh, I don't think the 1130 is gonna be enough for Cozier Hill Road. So I'm pretty much getting the 1134 specifically for that that climb. As we were riding you can definitely see foliage change and this is what I love about fall season here in Connecticut is because of the leaves changing and this is my favorite spot to to stop at and you get a good view of the uh, porta potty behind me um, but I'll turn spin this way so you guys can see the fall foliage from the background. I'm gonna have a banana and a gel so if you're in if you're curious to know how much i eat per ride um, i try to get it between 200 300 calories depending on how long the ride is so today it's going to be about uh, 36 miles with about 3600 feet of climbing and so we're going to be out a little longer so i try to get uh, as many calories as i can per hour so about 200 to 300 at least 300 if I am doing a long ride like today is probably going to be about a three and a half hour ride or so so um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, get something to eat is moving so you could see the current actually moving in that direction um, there's a bridge there that's where we're going to cross and then go on the other side of Squans Pond 
So a little bit of a tailwind, which is good. And uh, yeah, nice and quiet morning today. A little on the cloudy side, but that's okay. So what a great ride so far. This is this is just awesome to be back out here. I'm having a blast. I hope Joy's having fun too. Yeah. We're uh, at our final rest stop of the day. Uh, pretty close to home here. 29 miles into the ride. 2,500 feet of climbing so far. Kind of moderate climbing today. It's, it wasn't not crazy, but no, it's, it's it's like almost. Yeah. When we get done. When we get done, it'll be 3,600. Like okay. Yeah, it's pretty... It's sort of like average for one of our rides around. It's kind of hard not to do climbing around here. Um, I love the bike, the new bike. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's the... Um, the, the weight difference or the better shifting. Um but it's just so much easier to go fast in this bike than my old one um we just did a segment that we, we come through a lot called candlewood lake north road and i just pr'd it by a minute and 20 seconds um it's been a little while since i did that segment but i don't feel like my fitness is that much better that um, especially being only my second outdoor ride. I don't feel like my fitness is that much better that I would be, if I, if I had still the old bike, I don't think I would have PR'd it by that much. I probably maybe would have barely squeezed out a PR. Uh, so the new bike is making a huge difference, I think. And I'm still feeling really fresh. Um, it's my third day in a row of riding. Uh, and none of those rides were particularly easy. Did a, a threshold effort indoor workout on Friday. Then yesterday, yesterday was only a two-hour ride uh, nearby home, but I I did go kind of hard on a few segments. And then today is you know not easy either, but legs are still feeling fine. So I don't know if if the the new bike it just makes me more efficient. I don't have to use as much effort, maybe. But whatever it is about it, I, I love it. And uh, um, thanks to Joy for being the guinea pig on this Canyon Ultimate. You know, she, she got hers first and loved it. And then it made my shopping pretty easy. Um, I figured I would just follow in her footsteps. And I'm very happy about it. And most importantly, I'm just thrilled to be back out here. Um, I really missed these rides with Joy the last few months and it's just it's just so fun to be back out here. I'm so happy right now.
All right, well, it's uh, good to see you guys again, and uh, I'll turn it back over to Joy here. Are feeling good at least I'm feeling good Jason seems to be feeling good really like the uh, he really seems to enjoy the the new bike um, before I forget we did 30 38 miles with 13.7 miles uh, moving at 13.7 miles per hour and I believe our elevation gain let me find it was about 3,000 or I got 2,800 and Jason got 3,000 and we did the ride in about two hours and 47 minutes so um, that was fun and I'm glad that I really got to ride with Jason today um, I know it's been he's been um, waiting to to do this for a long time now waiting to get to recover from the injury and I know that I've kind of, I've just been waiting for him to to get better so that we can ride together because riding alone is kind of, well, um, lonely. And so, yeah, glad to, to have him riding again and uh, we can tackle. I feel like it was really hard for me to catch him today though. Uh, I tried really hard to go as fast as I can, but it was no, there was no way of me catching him. So um, that bike is definitely, um, making him very efficient so he can utilize the power that he has and he's flying down those roads um, but luckily i was able to catch him on the downhills um, but then again i'll lose him again in the flats and the uphills so um, that's it for today guys i hope you enjoy the video and thank you so much for being so patient uh, waiting for jason to uh, recover from his injury and uh, Looking forward to do more rides together. Until next time, enjoy the ride. Bye-bye.